I have a story, I have a song, can't help but to praise my Savior all day long. I would like those things chopped a little finer. When you experience this gumbo, I don't want you to have to chew on the vegetation as we would on the crustaceans. <laughs> <laughs> This gumbo is, I have to say it, just off the chain because I pour so much of my love into it. My name is George Dorsey Jr. I've been here in Houston, Texas over 36 years. This particular part of the neighborhood was hit rather hard by Hurricane Harvey, not just by the storm waters or the flood waters. The emotional sting is still there with people. Well, we laugh. We had no idea, number one, where we were going. And number two, we didn't know what we were leaving behind in terms of would our cars be okay, would our home be okay? Because at this point, the only thing on your mind was physical survival. We just didn't really know what to do. We didn't know how things were gonna go. We just knew that we were in a big mess. Since we encountered Samaritan's Purse, our lives, our family's lives, our community's lives, our church's lives, have not been the same. They responded with the resources we need. We needed help. The plumbing, the electricity, issues that we didn't know we had, they're coming here, is supporting us emotionally. We were just so grateful. We thought five or six people, hey, we will we'll, we'll get through this. Great, they'll send people. And when those vans pulled up and those kids never kept coming out, that was just the greatest relief knowing that I didn't have to do it myself anymore. We're embracing them and saying thank you. And they say, oh, thank you for allowing us to work in your life and in your life. And I just thank God for that. I thank each and every one of you all for coming and blessing me personally, my family, and this entire community. Every time a group comes in, I want to do something to bless them. One of the best things I could offer them is a, a taste of Texas. Oh, here it come now come true confessions of the cook. I miss it so much, I just thought to myself, I haven't cooked in two months, so it's really special right now to sit here and just chop up celery, you know? It's friends feeling like there's some normalcy in our life just for this moment, right back here at this church that was a refuge for our community. A lot of times people rush the relationships. They need to get to know each other while there it's just them. Are we and talking about the gum? I'm talking about the gum. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing with us, for coming to Houston, Texas, and helping us with their Hurricane Harvey relief. Thanksgiving in our home is always a very joyous occasion. It's easy to be thankful when you can see God working. Thanksgiving itself is just one day, but when you see the love of God pouring out day after day after day after day, you know, some people have no hope, but that's not us. We have plenty of hope because we know that Christ Jesus lives and he lives through all these people. If the only way that we could have met all these beautiful people was through this tragedy, then I would go through it again. And I mean that from my heart. <laughs>